Hi friends, in this video I'm going to cover file upload and file upload is a vulnerability which allows attackers or hackers to upload their malicious scripts or uh, programs to get uh, remote execution and uh, sometimes uh, we may also upload our shells to the remote server uh, in order to get uh, the remote code execution so let's see how it works so here we have a simple functionality which allows us to upload only jpeg files and if we try to upload anything else it says uh, your image is not uploaded so for example i i try to upload this txt file and uh, it's actually uploaded and this is because it's a low level so in this level there is no restrictions on anything we can upload anything that means we can upload our txt file we can upload our jsp file and uh, everything we want so since uh, it is a php application we may also upload our uh, php shell so kali comes with uh, a lot of web shells so if we try to locate the web shells we have these a lot of web shells there and uh, this one this is the simple shell for php applications and i'm going to use it so first i'm going to copy this to my current directory okay so i have this shell now so i just try to upload it and here it is upload it and it says it's uploaded so if we try to access this url we get our shell and we can now run any command on the remote server using this parameter cmd as it suggests we can run any command with this so let's just try to run this command and we get the output of this file etc password and this contains all this information and we can actually run any command and we can try to see the config command okay it's not running because it requires privileges which uh, we don't have this time let's try to list the files and here we are able to list the files so basically we get a remote code execution on the server machine so let's just try the same for the medium level okay now i will try to upload the shell at medium level and let's just rename our and i'm renaming uh, my file to something else like uh, hack.php so that uh, uh, i may show you the difference because this file is already there in the server until i remove it so you won't be able to see whether the file at medium level is uh, uploaded or not so i just changed the name to uh, this hack.php so if we try to upload this hack.php at medium level uh, we get this error your image was not uploaded and these are a few warnings and these warnings are due to some configurations which uh, i'm not going to bother at this time so basically our file is not uploaded and the reason being uh, the file is not uploaded is uh, 
at medium level it actually checks for uh, the content type of the file and what i mean from this is here you see uh, here you if you see uh, we are uh, uploading this file hack.php to this uh, name parameter uploaded and uh, the content type is application x httpd php and the server actually checks this content type to decide whether the file is actually a php file or not so if we change this to something like image jpeg So if we change it to image jpeg we might be able to upload our file. So let's just forward it and see what happens. Okay our file is uploaded. That means uh, our hypothesis was correct. It just checks the content type to decide whether the file is php or not. Okay, we again got the cell and this time the file hack.php is uploaded to the server and again we can use it to run whatever be the command we want and it will return the output of all commands uh, which we have privilege to execute and here we see we again got the we again got the output from this cat, cat password file so what if we try to do it uh, for high level actually uh, i'm going to cover the high level in the next video so please watch the next video but uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel admiral ghost and watch the next video huh?